what Sarah's done with the house. I mean, she's uh, has retained all of the creativity of the house, but she's added a femininity to the Moran, uh, which has uh, been incredibly well received by our clients. And the, the business right now at Neiman Marcus and at Bergdorf Goodman is just phenomenal, and it's working in every category. I mean, are they, they not only uh, the, the ready-to-wear collection, but also the accessories are very strong. And there's just you know, she's it's that the house has a very strong DNA. It has uh, it still is always a place that people turn to for you know to find advanced creative fashion, but with a really unusual degree of uh, you know a new degree of femininity that that's been uh, that's been very successful. I think that Sarah Burton is incredibly true to the legacy of Alexander McQueen himself. Whenever I see the show, I can see the things that, the language he created. So just as Karl Lagerfeld takes the original code of Coco Chanel and turns it into something new, so too you can see that happening with Sarah Burton and Alexander McQueen, the founder of the house, but she also brings something different to it in the same way that Karl Lagerfeld does. Um, for me, what she brings to it is something more feminine. Um, she's a woman and she's creating clothes for women. What I love about what Sarah Burton does is that she manages to bring together art and fashion but in a way that remains beautiful rather than alienating. And I think that that's very, very rare. I mean, I love the progression of the kilt, but the whole tribal moment with all the fabulous Maasai beading and the fact we didn't realise the floor was sand. It had the idea of Mondrian, I think that was the original idea of the Mondrian cubism, but then you see these amazing, I mean all of it, perforated leathers, the tiny beading, the volume of the feathers, the movement, I just adored it, honestly thought it was such a big leap from from where it was last season to now. I even, you know, the fact that there was hound's tooth in there, but absolutely adored the kilts. I think the movement of the kilts was my favorite thing. These are things you want to buy and wear. That's what I loved about it. I just thought, yes, it was brilliant. You, you know, as a woman, you'd feel amazing in that movement of that skirt. That beaded, that beautiful beaded Maasai skirt was stunning. It was like a piece of jewelry on your body.